What's up, dick lords? My name's James Reeves. You're watching TFB TV Mailroom, one of the least popular series that we have in this channel, but I still do it anyways because I don't even know why I still do this. Um, let's see. This week we've got Hawks Doom and Bloom Hard Rosé Cider Fruity Dry Refreshing. Sounds a little like me. Okay, I normally don't like ciders. I can't imagine crushing like 17 of these. But, you know, it's not so bad for a mail room, so we're going to roll with it. All right, got a ton of mail. Mail ladies were super pissed off at me. I also understand you're probably pissed off at me because this is July and this is supposed to be the June mail room. So I owe you a July mail room and a June mail room. We announce our winners for our gun giveaway and for our belt giveaway. Every month we give away four $100 gift certificates to Blue Alpha. So you can pick out whatever the hell you want, buy yourself the best damn belt. And we also give away four guns from Top Gun Supply. The guys at Top Gun Supply pick out a bunch of guns, give you a choice. If you don't like any of them, then you get a $350 gift certificate and you can use it on whatever you want. So pretty sweet deal. If you are a Patreon or Subscribestar supporter, that is the only way that you can enter the Blue Alpha gift certificate giveaway. And it doesn't matter. You can be at any level, $1, $2, $5, $10, automatically entered and automatically selected every month. For the gun giveaways, the five and the $10 level patrons are automatically entered to win one of four guns every single month. And we've given away at this point, I mean, this is like, I don't know, mailroom 40 something, I think at this point. So that's a, a whole shitload of guns. I mean, well over a hundred guns that we've given away to TFB TV viewers and our Patreon supporters out there. So thank you for the support. So again, sorry this was a little bit of a late mailroom. Had a really busy June and July. Went to Costa Rica at the very end of June with a couple of my buddies. We did Arenal, which I've been to before, Monteverde, and then Tamarindo Beach, which I'd never been to before. Tamarindo Beach was really fun. I actually took some surfing lessons over there. And I think I'm full-fledged surfer now. Do I look like a surfer? Am I, will I be accepted in the community? Or do I have to like, uh, I don't know, stop taking baths and smell like patchouli and grow my hair out for two years or something? I don't know. We had Independence Day. Lindsay and I take Independence Day super seriously. Every year we go to an American national park every year. This year it was Voyagers National Park, which is in Minnesota. We stayed at the Kettle Falls Inn which actually looks south into Canada. I'll post some pictures up here so you can kind of check out the vibe there. One third of the park, the surface area of the park is water. So it's a good idea to get like a canoe, kayak, or a boat. We just rented a motorboat for the entire time we were there. Had a freaking great time rolling around the lake, rainy lake. But here we are now back to business. So let's open some GD mail. I think I'm gonna go. Letter package, letter package, letter package. Um, we've got a lot of mail. And this one is from, there's a picture of the Queen, so it's probably Canada. You poor bastards. It doesn't have a return address on it. From Matt K. in reading. Letter tax paid. S-W-A-L-K. I know what the S-W-A and K stand for but i'm not sure what the l stands for and i don't think i want to know dear james please find enclosed a selection of badger hound brand firearms related patches designed by me exclamation point in line with the restrictions of my tv license weapon media certificate and section 3 opinion license I very much enjoy watching TFB TV, especially when it's you and those muscles in short shorts as I take my morning coffee as per the restrictions in the 2012 Breakfast and Brunch Violence Reduction Act. I like you. You and your five viewers can find more patches, stickers, and apparel by myself and others at badgerhoundsupply.com. All one word, badgerhoundsupply.com. Subjects of the United Kingdom require Section 7 Firearms Depiction Certificate and or 2018 Internet Humor Act defense to legally important certain designs. 
Please keep doing what you and the rest of the TFB TV team do. Please promise to we'll be seeing those short shorts more and more this summer, of course. I had a dream, as per the limits in the 1965 Subversion and Dreams Act, that I was a Steyr GB and that you stuffed me in your short shorts waistband and we went for a drive at sunset along the Florida coast in a dusty purple Porsche 928 to the tunes of Kino. Dot, dot, dot. Anyways, this is America. Anything is possible, my friend. With the warmest of regards, God, you're really going to make me say this? You know how pissed off people get whenever you acknowledge the existence of a Chinese throat singing forum? Shout out to the patch thread degenerates. That's right. Patch dork general. This is fantastic. I wish we would have had this for my Miami Vice video. Bren 10, back-to-back -back Gulf War champion. This is surely some CNR bullshit that I don't know anything about that you guys love and you're going to get so mad in the comments that I don't know anything about that CNR bullshit. And a crank and an MP5 SD patch. I gotta say, I'm going to take a moment here and say that these patches are actually really well done. I get a lot of dumb bullshit mailed in to mailroom, really 98% of what gets mailed in is dumb bullshit. This is good shit. I would actually pay for this stuff. All right, package. Number one, let's see what we got. This is from TB, Wellington, Florida. I could kind of smell the pheromones of a fellow Florida man on this package. Let's see what we got here. To the man with athletic thighs, don't judge me on my paper choice and handwriting. It's okay, you're in sixth grade, that's fine. It's the only paper I could find in my mom's basement and the lighting is so poor that my penmanship goes to shit. You really do a great job providing entertaining content and real reviews. Thank you. That's what I'm here for. I got my Sig Rattler after watching your review and love it. Dude, I love mine. That is like probably my top five favorite gun. So that was an honest review and I'm glad you enjoyed it. I put a Silencer Co. Hybrid on it, and it makes for an awesome time. I grew up in Oregon on my family's farm and would shoot often with my Ruger 1022 or go with my brother and throw clays for each other. I now live half the year in East Texas and half the year in South Florida. Nice. Dude, nice. You're doing the same thing I'm doing. You're just, like, further. I'm, like, North Florida, Louisiana. You're going from East Texas to South Florida. And I don't have the same time to go shooting, so I really appreciate all your videos so I can live vicariously through you and your short shorts. I can relate to you being a cat guy as I also am a two cat family with my longtime girlfriend. Isn't it amazing what a guy will do for sex? Dot, dot, dot. I mean love. Just teasing. You said it, not me. The cats are actually fun to have around. Yeah, they are, because they're not little prostitutes like dogs. That's what I've been saying for years. I, I promise, I think most of you guys would actually be into cats if you got a good one, like get an orange tabby or something, or a manx, and I think you'd have a good time. I sent a few things to thank you for all you do. I normally sport a cat shirt whenever I can. This is my best one. Oh, I'm getting the best cat shirt. Dude, you never give away your best cat shirt. It makes the ladies lose their minds. Enjoy the Hef. I only sent the Yingling just in case the Hef is bad. I'm a Substar supporter. Thank you. Fuck YouTube. I know, but here we are. Like we we have to do it. We've been on. I don't. I haven't even checked, but we've been on like Bit Shoot, and you know maybe I, I remember there was like another one that was out there, and we've been uploading videos that I, I don't even check it. I mean that's the thing is like YouTube does suck, but unfortunately it's the only way that we're ever going to get the audience that we get. I mean, everyone else has tried doing something else. It just doesn't work because everybody's on YouTube. But thank you very much, Tommy B. Two roads, no limits, Hefeweizen. I, dude, I love a good Hef, so this is probably gonna be just fine. Here's a letter on kind of nice stationery, so it caught my eye. Let's check it out. Dear James, enclosed, please find of the red crystal star of david velcro patch this is the official red cross symbol that israel can use on red cross missions israel objected to using the other red cross symbols cross or crescent for muslim countries for obvious reasons anyways i live in new york city i ask all your viewers to send good vibes to the supreme court so we can get shall issue permits regards michael michael c from marysville washington this feels like beer. I hope it's beer.
Dear James, we appreciate everything you and your short shorts do for the gun community. The three of us here at Cornet Bay Gourmet Foods. Heyo. Wanted to send you a little care package. We hope you enjoy the bourbon sauce, the seafood cocktail sauce, maybe some tiny shrimps are in your future, and the gourmet pepper sauce. You can find us at www.cornetbay.com and your viewers can use the code short shorts, all one word, short shorts, for 5% off. All the best. Michael Cannon. Thank you, Michael. By the way, I hope that wasn't a threat. I hope you didn't actually like mail shrimp to me because the ladies at the, the USPS place are going to be really pissed if that happened. I'm sure all of these will be lovely on my microwave chicken nuggets. Thank you very much, guys. Hannah and Logan from Nebraska. Oh, shit. I knew it. 9421, save the date. Logan and Hannah, Lincoln, Nebraska. Good looking couple here. You know, I've heard the couple that TFB TV mailrooms together stays together. Alden and Jesse from Niceville, Florida. A couple of my panhandle nabes. Oh, yeah, it's beer. This is awesome. Hope your wildest birthday wishes come true. Dear James, we're huge supporters of the channel. Figured we'd send in a four pack from Third Planet Brewing here in Niceville. Maybe one day you'll grow up and we can send you some IPAs. Love, Alden and Jesse. Jesse and Alden, I appreciate that. But yet again, if I liked drinking Christmas tree water with hints of dog shit, I'd be all into IPAs. But unfortunately, I like stuff that tastes good and is drinkable. So what'd you send me? Bear Creek Bramber, an English style pub ale, 5.7%. That looks pretty good. I do like a good pub ale, as long as it's not cask ale. Blue Water Hefeweizen, a German style wheat, grapefruit and coriander. Sounds delightful. That's money in the bank right there. That actually sounds really good. Boggy Bayou Stout, a milk stout. God dang, I love a good milk stout. One of the best ones I ever had, I think I've mentioned this before, is Castle Milk Stout in South Africa. And Patty's Pint, a dry Irish stout. That sounds like it's going to be pretty good too. Dude, nice selection. I'm actually really looking forward to this. I don't know if you guys are affiliated with this brewery or not, but you know, my brother runs a brewery in Pensacola, like right down the road from you guys, Perfect Plain. So if anyone's ever there, we need to do a little meetup. I'm going to be in Pensacola for that matter. Uh, this weekend. I think I'm probably running this video this weekend, so it's going to be too late. I'll probably be on my way home, but we're going to be in Pensacola, of course, for the Blue Angels Air Show because myself and my wife are tremendous rednecks. So we're going to be out there on the beach drinking and watching jets fly by and screaming at them and just having a good time getting blackout. So if you guys just so happen to be on the beach, hopefully I run into you. Or if you're like, man, I saw that guy wearing short shorts and he looked a lot like James at TFB TV and you're on Pensacola Beach. It was James from TFB TV. Okay, that should be enough mail for today. I'll save some for next month because I owe you one in like three weeks, right? Guys, as usual, thanks a ton for sending stuff in. I am privileged to do this and I like doing mailroom. I know I always uh, give you guys a hard time because uh, again, a lot of this is dog shit. Even though we had a pretty good haul today, we had some pretty sweet patches and like some gourmet sauces and beers and everything. This may have been the highest quality mailroom that we've had in a long time in terms of loot. Like this was an excellent loot package for me. So I really appreciate that. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate being able to do this. I'm lucky and it's all because of you. So keep sending in your shitty mail. I'll keep opening your shitty packages with your creepy letters. I love you. Good night.